R1 is DNB software to remote control DNB systems with a flexible and adjustable user interface. R1 is fully weaved into the DNB workflow. This means that the project file that has been created in ArrayCalc already provides a lot of information that R1 uses to speed up your work. In other words, while ArrayCalc provides a comprehensive toolkit to plan your system and predict its performance, R1 allows you to quickly configure and operate all physical devices in accordance with the design. So, how can you use this workflow in an efficient manner? For that, let's go back and have a quick peek at ArrayCalc. After finalizing the system design, all loudspeakers have to be associated with the amplifier channels they are supposed to use. This patching can be prepared on ArrayCalc's devices view. The Patch Plan tab displays all sources of the current project. Before going any further, please consider which cabinets you would like to link to be driven from the same amplifier channel. This results in a reduced number of required amplifier channels and, potentially, in fewer required amplifiers in total. The logical layout provides a good overview for this task. There are several ways to link cabinets. Select the sources and press the Link Cabinets button on the desired source groups. For point source groups or subarrays, either sequential or symmetric linking can be selected. To link cabinets manually, multi-select them and press C on your keyboard. For every source group, the desired model of system amplifier can be selected from the drop-down menu. In the same way, you can set the start ID, which is the first remote ID array calc should assign for good housekeeping. You can also select multiple source groups to apply the same configuration settings to all at once. Now that we have selected all relevant source groups, let's press Configure Amps. Within the dialog, you can choose between an automatic or customized input and output configuration. Select one of the available options from the input channel dropdown. If you would like to use your previously defined start IDs, select Use Mine. Click OK and ArrayCalc will auto-create the necessary devices and configure them as specified. As this is a quite fast process, you can also manually optimize the cabinet to channel assignment for more efficient cabling and amplifier use. Let's touch up the assignments for front fills and near fills to assign them to just one amplifier. Select the near fills and press D on your keyboard to disconnect them. Then, multi select all near fill cabinets and the unused amplifier channels on the amplifier that is driving the front fills. Press C on your keyboard to connect them.
Now, the unused device can be deleted. You can also manually connect sources to amplifier channels by drawing connections. Now, let's preset the input routing for each source to save some time on site later. New input configurations can either be added to existing ones or replace them. Disconnect D1 from the channels on the amplifier driving the main ride system. To do that, select the input connection and press D. To create a summed input signal, simply drag both input sources to the same output channel. Select the output channels and the input source and press C on your keyboard. ArrayCalc will ask you if you would like to add this input to create a summed feed or replace the existing one. Click Add. And that's it. Save the ArrayCalc project and open R1. Like in ArrayCalc, the left section of the R1 home screen provides typical file management options. You can access global functions, the so-called system views, from the center section. The right section of the home screen holds all of the actual remote control views. Now, let's open the previously prepared project file. In this case, the project has never been opened in R1 before. This is why R1 shows us the auto-creation dialog and offers to create the necessary device hierarchy, the so-called group tree, and all remote views automatically. And this is exactly what we're going to do now. R1 uses the functional structure of the system that we have created in ArrayCalc to build the group tree and all remote views. For most sound reinforcement tasks, this is all that we need. You can always customize it later, but getting to this useful starting point only takes a few seconds. Let's have a look. There will always be a remote view called Overview. It contains master controls for all sources of the project as well as for the overall system. The overview also lets you recall what is called the ArrayCalc snapshot. This contains all the settings for levels, delays, routings and so on that you have already defined in ArrayCalc and reflects the state of when you last saved the project file there. For every source, AutoCreate also creates a more detailed, specific remote view and a corresponding EQ view. AutoCreate can also be used in a customized way. Let's take a look at how that works. By the way, you can also decline AutoCreate when it pops up automatically and can start it manually later. So, let's open AutoCreate and define manually which views should be generated. Please note. The Clear Existing option will delete all existing remote views and all groups and start from scratch. Leave it checked if this is what you want. If you're only adding previously non-existing views to your project, uncheck this box. And this is exactly what we'd do if we were to add missing EQ views later. Now the project can be tested offline in tuning mode. Once we save the project file in R1 
it retains all configured remote views. It is highly recommended that you reset all devices first. You can do that from the front panel of each device individually or from R1. Set all your hardware devices to the remote ID you specified in ArrayCalc. Make sure their IP network settings are as desired and connect them to your control network. Here's how to do it. Start R1 but do not load a project file. Go online and stay in configuration mode. Open the Devices view. Within the Detected Devices section, multi-select the devices relevant for your project and click Reset. It will take a few seconds for all devices to clear their settings and reboot. Now, go offline and open your prepared project. As soon as you go online, R1 will initialize all devices in the project with regard to the following global parameters. Device and channel name, input and output mode, and speaker type. R1 will not automatically change any other user configurable settings, such as levels, delays or configuration switches. To apply these additional settings that you have already pre-configured in ArrayCalc to all devices, Go to Tuning Mode, open the Overview Remote View and recall the ArrayCalc snapshot.